Time now for the Peter Channel New News Report on this Thursday afternoon, October 20th, 2016. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins and I your new news and on this Thursday afternoon that is up three at the 12 noon hour is Las Vegas where Donald Trump is about an assault on the elections and their Reverberate on Thursday among his allies and rebels as the GOP campaign and Hillary Clinton's inner circle argued over how best to face the outcome after the votes are counted. Beijing on Wednesday, Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte he said it's time to say goodbye to the United States. So on Thursday, he said it's too old to China. After days that teases on social media, but the director and stars of becoming solo Wolverine movie Logan has released its first trailer. A suspicious package was exploded by the bomb squad today as counter police were forced to scramble at un London Underground Station next to the queue. O2 Arena. Turkish jet senator has struck U.S. specs. Syrian Kurdish fighters in over Syria on Thursday on Turkey's safe on news agency said that many as 200 million men were killed in the major escalation of Turkey's offense in northern Syria. Baghdad, Iraq's special forces which failed in the town east of Mosul on Thursday despite a wave of suicide attacks at the country's most professionalist sectarian fighting force. A Philippine typhoon victim, Professor Ropez, a super typhoon, Ima, slammed into the northern Philippines. Theresa May has pledged to continue to work closely with the EU after Brexit has achieved after the first Brussels summit as Prime Minister. Brussels. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are the good people of Poland and Senate with your week as your position in trade deals. Less than 24 hours after the third final presidential debate, new women have come forward to accuse Donald Trump of sexual assault. Responders fast work safe lives of gas bus in Portland, Oregon. So, North Korea rounded a launch more air observation satellites after its second ballistic missile test launch at the weekend in the failure. Tokyo, Honduras, Amnesty International, the U.S. and the EU condemned the killings of 100 environmental activists shot dead by Hugh Goodman. Jerusalem, Israeli President Benjamin Netanyahu said the U.S. President Barack Obama killed all American Israeli interests before he leaves the White House. So, the number of public executions in North Korea continued to rise under Kim Jong Un, according to Seoul's spy agency. Jackson, Georgia. Gregory Law, convicted in 1997 murder, a police officer was executed in the Jackson, Georgia prison. Santa Ana, California. A man slashed his foot in the Santa Ana court, California court where Mormon said was convicted of sexual assault charges. Walk went out. A convicted sex offender was executed out of Red Island from Massachusetts to the face. A probation violation charge was ordered out without bail pending the appearance. 49 year old Richard Garner. Man in the Prince and Kent County Superior Court work on Wednesday. Gunner was released from prison on October 30 with convicted of multiple child rapes in the 80s and early 90s in Rhode Island, Massachusetts. Boston Boom and ES made sure Massachusetts gained more than 5,000 jobs in September while the state's unemployment rate dropped to 3.6 percent and the lowest it had been since 2001 in June. The number of Americans seeking first time jobless benefits rose last week, but a jump could affect uh, hurricane strike and the advanced back after touching a four decade low. Tesla Motors and Corporate Center Wednesday, all big company producers have a fully self driving system center put in the head on the back to race to full autonomy. Bear has a communication COVID on Thursday. Bear for the decline in revenue and function to cover growth as it was assessing whether it will need to be negotiated on position Yahoo and Corporate after a major data breach. New York, mixed signals on market dynamics from Russia and mentioned in a possible bubble sent crude or oppressed deep in the negative territory in early Thursday trading. Edinburgh, Scotland, the Scottish government said Thursday was taking a look, never look at the independence two years after betting it could go alone using oil and gas revenue. Montreal, there are too many risk factors at play, and there's any sense of real optimism about a full market return for Libya's oil that the Royal Bank of Canada said. And now, look at the stocks now. Up 418 points at 822, 1680. But SP5 down 1.69 at 2142.60. And NASDAQ down 785 at 5238.57. Pluto's president, ADT, happened to do it almost fairly free accounts. That scientists from the NASA's new Earth Admission have identified some cloud candidates after examining images taken during July 2015. Rates of mental illness on the rise the U.S. and more than half of the adults diagnosed are not receiving treatment according to the latest data from the FC Group's Mental Health America. 
pregnant woman who lived in a tribal to her had a protected sex with someone who lived in a tribal that Miami Dade County, since August 1st, should be tested for the Zika virus. The Center of the Disease Control Prevention said Wednesday. You have vision, so it's blur. You see flashy lights. You feel a female farm of pain in your head grow stronger and stronger. Unappearance and business owners are placed in ideals in the population movement open and change drug policy. Border research in Virginia will resume immediately and continue until midnight on Friday. A federal judge ordered on Thursday. Republican President nominee Donald Trump listed as the Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton during her third presidential day as Donald Trump could have birth for abortion. No, there are no nine months for abortions. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump said just when that he might not accept the results of the November presidential election and he would like to get it at the time. Peter Chill News Time is now 12.05 on this Thursday afternoon and it is in Manchester, New Hampshire, where vehicles struck building in that 116 North Notre Dame Avenue in Manchester, New Hampshire, late Wednesday night and drew in two people. And now look at your sports. Tonight, the Boston Bruins will be taking on New Jersey Devils at the Garden. Team time, 7 o'clock. NCAA charges Louisville basketball coach Rick Tino to fail to monitor a member of his basketball program. And New York Giants take your charge by the minute of the misamounts, letters, and emails, and general according to police documents. Peter Chell News Time is 12.06 on this Thursday afternoon, and it's time now for a traveling and transit report. Baby! Let's have an MTA when it fits for a train for 14, 10, 58 a.m. for Fitzburg stop at 5, 50 minutes, being asked between West Gogan and North Station. Inbound, what's the line train may experience 5 to 10 delays and individual train alerts when you send them along with delays as expected. And on the ferries, they are looking good. And please board all low line trains that are on top of at North Brewerica Station. All right, take a look at the highways and byways at New England this Thursday afternoon near 95. The northbound side of Vector 7 for 95. Southbound Vector 7 and down to Greenwich. 84. Westbound side of Lulso and the New Britain stretch. 146. Southbound Vector from 295. In Lincoln all the way at the 95 walk. 195. Eastbound side of Vector to the Dartmouth stretch. Service press with northbound side of Vector to the Brinchy split. Audio to the Mass Pack. 120 in both ends. It's Vector Branda. Beauty Audio to Linfield. 93. Southbound side of the Vector Brand. 128 at Redden. 495 in the southbound side of the Spectre, but 93 in Andover, Massachusetts. Main turbine in the northbound side of the Spectre after 202 in Gray, Maine. And southbound side of the Spectre after the Canadian border up in Vermont. Out of 55 in the southbound side of the Spectre, just around the Canadian border up in. Seven so Quebec and then towards Vermont. Peter Jones News Time is 12.07 p.m. on this. So there's a afternoon and it is time now for a weather report. And it is another winner of a weather department on this Thursday. But Friday, that's going to change because we're going to get lots and lots of rain. Okay, this afternoon, most of us got 65 degrees. He's about 8 miles about. Tonight, a slight church shadow before 9 p.m. Then a slight church rain between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. Then a church rain or drizzle after 11 p.m. Mary's a fog up a bit at a while. It's Chris Gallagher, about 34 degrees. He's about 5 to 7 miles about. Church rain to 30 percent. New Prince Brown's lets at 7 inches possible. Friday, rain like me after 11 p.m. Rain like me after 11 a.m. on Friday. Mary's a fog before 2 p.m. A while it's got about 72 degrees. Seven is about 5 to 9 miles about. Church rain to 7 percent. New Prince Brown's between 4 to 9 inches possible. Friday night, rain before 9 p.m. Then rain likely possibly a thunderstorm between 9 p.m. and 2 a.m. Then rain likely after 2 a.m. Patch back between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. Low at 50 degrees. South base of the up. Six miles and a half coming coming at midnight. Chest base is 8 percent. New rain from Massachusetts and half three quarters inch possible. Saturday day church rain before 1 p.m. and at church is shots at 1 p.m. Most cuts about 56 degrees. Out west wind increase at 11 and 60 miles in the morning. West good cuts at 29 miles and a chest base is 50 percent. Sorry, that church is shining before 4 a.m. Most guys got a lower 37 degrees, just based on 30 percent. And then Sunday, we say hello to a new weather system that's going to bring ball like temperatures for Sunday. Most of the Senate Park about 36 about 30 degrees. Monday, most of the Senate Park about 37 about 31 degrees. Tuesday, most of the Senate Park about 32 about 32 degrees. And for Wednesday, most of the Senate about 31 degrees. Currently, not near it is. 68 degrees with a humidity of 66 percent. And it's close, guys. That's going to be it for the Peter Channel. New news about on this October 20th, 2016 on a Thursday. I'm Peter Woods. Hope you have a good afternoon with a good Friday. Hope you have a good day.